Hello everyone and welcome back to Bug Snacks. In the last session, we headed into this area, which I've forgotten the name of, but lots of lots of trees and stuff. It probably says it in the book actually. Uh so sugar pine woods at the top there. Yes. Great. We have a lot of stuff to do in town right now. We have multiple interviews con to conduct. We have a film thing to watch. Ah, another fine day behind us. We have a new side quest from you. Go any bug snacks? Nothing yet. Think something might be wrong with the soil. Too dry or maybe too wet. Either way, something needs fixing. Why don't you fetch me a big old fibrous bug snack, like a spuddy? I got a plan. Ah, <sighs> another fine day behind us. A spuddy. I feel like I've already seen a spuddy. What's a spuddy? Let's have a look. Spuddy? Uh... Oh, that's a spuddy. It's a crab boy. Okay. So, how did we... I can't remember. How did we get... Did we have to get a spuddy to run into another spuddy? Where was that? Was that in Scorch Gorge? Oh, it says... It says it right on the page. Scorch Gorge. Okay. So, we have to get that to... Yeah. Cool. Anyway, Chandlo, interview. Ooh, gonna quiz me, dog? Sure I am, bro. Crush your questions. Yeah, dog. <laughs> Who are you? Chandlo Funkbun. I lift. Lifting is a job? It's a way of life, bro. Anything <laughs> that needs to go up. Logs, buildings, balls, snorpy. I'll get him there. Why come to Snag Tooth Island? If I want to push my limits, I gotta go somewhere extreme. I heard nobody comes back from this island. Sounds like a challenge to me. <laughs> That's fine for you, but what about Snorpy? Hey, I'm always looking out for Snorpy. I know Ruffin it isn't his style, but there's no way I was coming here without him. How did you two become a thing? I don't know what you mean, dog. We're like the sky and the sea. Been together since the dawn of time. Fair enough. <laughs> Thoughts on bug snacks? Bug snacks are strong. Like a primal kind of strong. Like they own this place. And I gotta respect that. Why did you leave town? Bro, Snacksburg was a disaster without Lisbert. I couldn't stop all the fighting with lifting or wisdom. I gotta keep things chill for Snorpy. He's got a lot of that social anxiety. Boy, do I know how that feels. Any info on Lisbert? Lisbert is top dog, you feel me? She really inspires me to test my limits. But, uh, that's about it. I'm really tighter with Egabel. Uh, okay, what can you tell me about Egabel then? Megabelle's a sweetie. She was always looking out for me. Showed me how to stay safe while still pushing my limits. Push it to the limit. But she was always pushing herself way harder. She was working out? Yeah. She asked me to train her. Surprised the grump out of me, because she really wasn't built for that kind of stuff. We'd go running every morning and lifting after lunch. Though she would get real down on herself sometimes. But she never gave up, and I respect that. What happened between Lisbeth and Egabel? I wish I could tell you. Those two were strong together. I can't think of anything that could take them down. They gotta be okay out there. Somewhere. Thanks, Chandlo. You really slam-dunked my questions. Bro, that's not... Just... Don't. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> I recorded Egabel's progress while we were working out. She shared some pretty private stuff. But maybe it'll help you bring her back to us. Don't let me down, bro. Hey, Egabel's chest key. Love to see it. Cool, cool. Okay. Do do do. Should probably fill up on all of this stuff. Uh, 
I like that these are here. Uh, that's Wambus' place. The diary's in here somewhere, right? Uh... Aha! Ah! Hey, there's number three! Sweet, perfect! You picked up a video diary. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful. Well, we've got two to watch right now then. Number three, let's go. These are really good, man. <laughs> I'm so I'm so much more impressed with like the writing and voice acting and overarching story and like character relationships and stuff than I ever thought I would be from the trailers. Like the trailers, I was like, this looks cute. You eat bugs, you sort of turn into them. I don't know what the plot is, but it seems interesting. And then it got, you know, people were saying how much they loved it. But I, I didn't, I didn't really, I don't know. I didn't expect any of this, but it's really good. Okay, let her fly and I'll show you my incredible aim. Just try not to hit Bilbo again. When you're finished with your amusements, come see me. We have work to do. Get out of here, Floofy. You're ruining my shot. What's wrong? There's something off about that grumpus. Is not so bad. They're just passionate about science. Sure, science. I heard about their experiment, messing with your body. It's weird. What's weird about it? I mean, look at you. How many bug snacks have you had? Hey, in my professional medical opinion, I am perfectly healthy. We're all eating bug snacks, and we're all fine. So why are you getting on my case? I'm just worried. You're not acting like yourself. You mean I'm not miserable. I found a way to make myself useful and happy to finally take some control over my life. And you're just upset because it doesn't involve you. I'm not upset. If you don't need me anymore, that's great. Go be with Floofty. Maybe I will. Oof. Man, is this a game about addiction? Is that is that the secret fucking... Thing that we are we are playing a game about here because that would be a really cool idea <laughs> I'm so I'm so digging this man it's so good right uh, so we spoke we interviewed bodybuilder dude uh, that's Befica's place Wiggles place Philbo's place where is oh is it in here oh I guess it's in here here he is. So Greetings. Time for an interview? Are you mad? I can't have my secrets plastered all over the front page news. Don't you want to find Lisbeth? Of course I do. But at the same time, I don't want them finding me. Hmm. I suppose I can reveal a tad bit so long as my identity is protected.
Okay, who are you? <clears throat> I am Snorp Redacted. Bean. I have devoted my <laughs> life to inventing devices that foil the machinations of the Grumpinati. That's hilarious that it actually overwrote it with, like, a interviewer redacted voice. Why come to Snacktooth Island? Well, I was dragged here by my dearest friend, Chan- Redacted. He thought I needed some fresh air or something. Much as I hate the outdoors, I simply can't say no to him. No. How long have you and Redacted been in a relationship? Well, I, well, I, I, I mean, we've been together since kindergarten. It would make perfect sense if we were together together. He's never said we are, has he? Thoughts on bug snacks? I surmise they are some sort of synthetic life form designed to beguile our taste buds. If bug snacks are artificial, where do they come from? I'm so glad you asked. I believe there may be a factory located on this very island, hidden somewhere deep underground. I have charts. Let me show you my charts later. Why did you leave town? I was too exposed. Flufty tried to wrap me up in that experiment, now that Lizbert and Agabel weren't around to occupy them. I could see that this was the next step in the Grumpinati's plot against me. Grumpinati plot? Lizbert disappears, we are hit with an earthquake, we suffer a snack shortage, all that in one day. Do you really think those are all coincidences? The timeline is on my charts. Any info on Lizbert? Elizabeth Megafig was a curious sort, and had a foolish bone in her body. She could rival me in wits, and chat redacted. Blow an arm wrestling. <laughs> we would share secrets now and again. Dreadful, terrible secrets. What terrible secret secrets? <laughs> I'm not telling you the terrible secrets because they are terrible and secret. I think we're done here. Excellent interrogation, chum. So great that you deserve another hugging experience. Ah. <laughs> hey, this must not go on the record. Elizabeth Megafig discovered something on the island and came to me for help. An entrance to the underground, locked behind a strange device. I assisted her in unraveling its secrets, and soon after, she vanished. You must take extreme caution. I can tell you where to find it, but the rest is up to you. Shit! Snoopy gave you a map to a mystery door. Check your journal for details. Well, snap, son. Uh, near the mountain peak, hang left from the trail and take a narrow ledge north. See attached map. Okay, so it's again somewhere we've never been. The pressure plates won't activate on the left. I think the ancient grumpuses need to be fed first. But what do they like to eat? The ancient grumpuses. Interesting. Well, that's a mystery for another time. Okay, next up. Uh... Eat our fill there. I believe next up is we go and give my boy over here his feet. Were the crab bros around here? Maybe it needs to be during the day. Oh no, there's, there's one. Just need to get a couple of them to link up. Sup. Bops. Big popsicle. Right foot, yes. And popsicle. left foot, yes. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Sweet relief. These things better not melt off. Anyway, a deal's a deal, friend. The bridge is yours. Some assembly required. And so you know, Crumdomart is not responsible for any loss or injury suffered as a result of the use of its products. Hey, if you need anything else, anything at all, please, please, please call your friend Crumdo. Oh, I'm already sweating. It's too hot. Too hot. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. Okay. Uh, we can't use this. <laughs> Sweet. Awesome. Yeah. 
doesn't quite work out. Two to run into each other. There we go. Spuddy. 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 <laughs> Boing. I got your Spuddy. Well, that's not for me. No, you go and feed that to Philbo. Then, hold up by the outhouse for a spell. When his business is done, gather up the fertilizer. Oh. Ah, yes. Fertilizer. You know, uh, night soil. Night Place. soil. Spud cruds. Spud cruds. Don't make me get crude now. Goddamn, dude. Spud cruds. Truly incredible. Ah, another fine day behind us. Let's eat. Spuddy. Spuddy. I really would like to do either nose or teeth because they're hilarious, but also I love Philbo. He's my little boy. And I don't want to mess up his beautiful face. So I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, you can have... Uh, right leg. Awesome! Aw, thanks for the gift, buddy. Though, suddenly, I'm feeling nature call. Sorry, gotta go. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, okay. His face is the absolute cutest, and I just cannot bear to mess it up. <laughs> hey there, bud. Till next time. Thanks for your dump. Evening. I got your fertilizer. Woo wee! That stink could raise the dead. Whew. That's bound to be potent enough for my soil. Thanks, stranger. You're welcome. Okay, now let's That's chat. Okay. To what do I owe the honor? Oh, I'm just curious what you think you're doing here. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm working the counter. Cromdomart's back in business, baby. Don't act all innocent. If you start running scams again, I'll know. Yeah, yeah, because you know everything. And here's what I know. You're not better than me, Beth. Nobody likes all you snooping around. <laughs> I don't care what they think about me, as long as I make sure you get what you deserve. Don't I always? Are you going to buy something or what? Yeah, I'll take a tall snack water extra fizz. <laughs> I'm in right up. Amazing. Oh, hello. You have a side mission now? Oh, bestie. I was just looking for you. Now that Wiggle's back, Snacksburg is finally interesting again. I'm in the mood for some snacking and snooping. But, like, everybody here gets all quiet when I'm around. But they trust you, right, bestie? So here's what I'm thinking. You dig up dirt on Wiggle and share it with me. And maybe I'll tell you something good in return. <laughs> Find out what Wiggle does at midnight. Okay. <laughs> Interview time with Crombo. All right, I could use some practice. They'll be interviewing me every day when I'm a gazillionaire. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure thing, bud. Who are you? Brrrts. Business King, Sales Savant, future CEO of Starbugs, the Star one, Bugs. the only, Crondo Face! Oh, I love it, I love it. Why you come in? smell the future, kid? Huh? I can tell you, Lisbeth stank of opportunity. She came on TV talking big about this new superfood, and I wanted in. So I quit my dead-end job and followed that stench of possibility. 
what was your dead-end job? <laughs> I used to go door to door selling gruel to grandmas. Paid on commission, for grump's sake. Thoughts on the bug snacks? <laughs> what do I think of? <laughs> Delicious! Irresistible! Marketable! They're <laughs> gonna catapult me straight to the top of money down, baby! <laughs> I think, aside from Philbo, I think Cromdo might be my favourite. Cromdo face. <laughs> Gonna catapult me straight to the top of money town, baby. <laughs> Why'd you leave town? Yeah, I tried to make use of what Lisbur didn't need anymore, and Befica didn't like that. Yeah, she went and told everyone that I'm a thief. What, you stealing? I was salvaging! That's a community service, pal! <laughs> but Befica planted evidence in my hut, said I stole her diary. So I did what any honest grump would do. I ran. Any info on Lisbeth? Oh, don't get me started. Everyone here thinks she's so great, such a fantastic leader. But I know the truth. <laughs> she came here to stroke her ego and get Eggabel her fix. The rest of us were just pss, disposable. Savage. Disposable? That's pretty cold. That's Elizabeth mega thick. When push came to shove, she abandoned us. What do you mean? I, I gotta confess, I was thinking about sailing home after things got hairy. But when I went looking for our boat, it was gone. There's only two grumps missing. You do the math. <laughs> I bet Liz and Egg are living large in New Grump City by now. Hmm. Calm down, Grumdo. That's enough for now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, pal. I'm not the nicest grumpus around. I learned early on that life is like a box of trash. You always know what you're gonna get. Trash. <laughs> Just go check out where the boat was. See what you think of Lisbon after that. Okay, Kondo gave you a map to the boat. Check out your journal. At the end of Boiling Bay, past the shipwreck. Liz was definitely over there, you'll see. Okay, so that's presumably past the locked boat door. I assume that is the shipwreck. Makes sense. Uh, not sure if we can get past it now. Maybe? Hmm. We need to find out what Wiggle does at midnight. Oh, hello. Cromdo has a new uh, thingy to do hickey for us. Go also... on, Charwi. Oh. Just follow Papa's pointer. Or, or don't. That's fine, too. How's training? We're off to a bit of a slow start. It went so easy with Sprout, I just don't know what's going wrong now. Maybe, maybe Sprout can help. I'm sure he can show Charwi the ropes. What do you say? Sounds good to me. All righty. Now just use Sprout to lead Charwi back to my barn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, what do I, what do I need to do again? It likes chocolate. What if I didn't have chocolate up here? Oh, there's tons just in case. Why do I have the ball up here? What? I am confused. Oh, does it break? Oh, it breaks if he catches it, does it? God damn it. Wait, no. They try and break it? I'm so confused. I 
I guess you just have to avoid the people. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Charwee! Oh, who's a good boy? Charwee's a good boy. Yes, he is. Well, it's a start. But I'm a long ways off from teaching them to spell out, We love you, Papa. Why, I have to cover myself in sauce every morning just to get them to pay <laughs> attention to me. But that's just the way it goes. You pour every little bit of love you got into somebody and you just hope they notice. Don't you hate it when you have to cover yourself in sauce? I know I do. Hey, how you doing? How's your research? Oh, not too bad. Actually, would you mind helping me out here? I dug up this journal out in the canyon. It's, um, a record of historical landmarks and bug snacks. I want to follow in the writer's footsteps. So, uh, if it's not too much trouble, would you want to go exploring with me? Certainly. Sounds lovely. Oh, you're too kind. The first place of note is in Flavor Falls. Meet me there whenever's good for you. <laughs> is that like the starting area? Alrighty. What we're looking for is a big stone grumpus face and a bug snack called a pinkle. Let's look around. Is that a pretzel? <laughs> do, 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 do. A big stone face and a bug snack called a pinkle. I heard it. Oh, that. So the jar protects it from capture. Perhaps it can be grappled away. Huh. Why can't I? It gives me the square option, but it won't actually let me do anything. Oh, is it because I'm holding that? Oh, okay. Uh, scan a stone grumpus. That's not a grumpus. What was that over there? I don't know. A stone grumpus. I'm not seeing one. Ranch dressing. <laughs> Am I blind? I cannot see a stone grumpus anywhere. It's not going to be out of the area, I wouldn't have thought. Why can't I see it? Is it out the area? Do I need to be going and looking somewhere else? Over here, maybe? Oh. Hello. This looks important. But still no stone grumpus. Am I blind? I feel like it wouldn't be, like, it wouldn't be tiny, would it? 
Surely it'd be fairly easy to spot, and the fact that I'm not seeing it means it must be in a different area? I don't know. <laughs> like, I feel like it wouldn't take me here if the quest objective was not here. But, like, I'm really not seeing it. <laughs> I don't know. I can't believe I'm that blind? There's a couple more statues that aren't of Grumpuses. But there are no statues of Grumpuses. Anything back here? No. I don't know, man. I feel like I've never seen a statue of a Grumpus anywhere else, though, so I don't even know where else I'd look. The fuck is that noise? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to leave the area in case that messes up the quest, because I just don't think it seems idiotic that... That they put it somewhere else, so I don't think they would have put it somewhere else. But I'm really not seeing anything. Is anyone else seeing anything? A stone grumpus. One like hidden in this passage, or I don't know, man. This is really annoying. <laughs> I don't want to leave the area, I want to find this thing. Nothing here. It would just randomly show up if I scan around a bit. What's that? I've got a question mark. Oh, that's just a olive. If I feed you a pinkle, maybe you'll give me a hint? Pinkle! Um. Ooh. Oh god. Ooh, wow, that's a good one. You might have noticed pinkle statues scattered around here. These must have been an important food source to the ancient grumps. Alrighty, clue? what we're looking for is a big stone grumpus face it and a bug a snack big face. called a pinkle. Let's look around. A big face. Is it like up on a mountain? How am I not seeing this if it's a big thing? It's like obviously it's not these, these aren't grumpuses. A big statue. How can it possibly be big if I cannot see it? Wanting the scanner to like just happen to 
cross over something and pick it up, but it's not that. How could it possibly be big? this blind what <laughs> what the fuck am i missing is it somewhere else if i leave the area does it yeah if you leave you will abandon your quest so it is in here somewhere i just uh okay that was weird it wouldn't let me do anything for a moment Like hidden off the side somewhere. This is this is actually mind blowing. Where the, where the fuck is this? A big grumpus face. I'm about to give up. Like, I genuinely... I can't see it. I've, I've, I've looked so many times now. I've, I've scoured this area. There is no fucking Grumpus face here. Triffany is chatting some bollocks. One last look. One last look. Wait, is that it? Oh my god. Fuck off. There would be the work of the ancient stone grumps, a civilization from over 5,000 years ago. All that's left to them is statuary and some puzzling mechanisms. Unlike the desert grumps, these folks didn't preserve their dead. In fact, the writer thinks they would sacrifice him to the bug snacks, like an offering to the gods and whatnot. This means bug snacks may be a more lasting legacy than any of the stuff they built. Well, that's everything, right? Well, I was hoping to find a camp of some sort. Maybe a corpse or two. But oh well, there's plenty more spots to check out. Let's head back to Snacksburg for now. Thank Christ for that. <laughs> Okay, so what have we got? We've still got some more side quests, haven't we? What's our main quest at the moment? 